Good morning from Mammoth Mountain. I'm Abe Gislevitz. Today we're gonna do a little Q&A. I asked some questions on my Instagram story a couple days ago and I've got some answers for you. I'm gonna be answering while I go down skiing. Hopefully we'll find some fun stuff, some fun runs. We've got some recently new snow here at Mammoth and it's gonna be a beautiful day. Thank you to Storyblocks for supporting my channel and sponsoring this video. We'll hear about them a little bit later, but let's get to the questions. Okay, it is a beautiful day. We got our first question from Ali Rafat4. What would be your top three tips for someone who just got a GoPro? That's a great question. All right, see you on the way down. All right, run number one. We're just gonna go down to uh, the mill. We just, both of us picked up a pair of these new Ben Chetler 100s. We're doing some demos, Zadie and I, today. All right, so top three tips for somebody who just got a GoPro. Well, number one would be read the manual. I know that sounds kind of basic, but I'm a huge proponent of understanding what your products do. So the first thing that I do with anything is either read the manual or just watch a YouTube video that gives a full complete rundown of your product just to know what it's capable of and you can you can really have a good idea and understand what it can do this is a fun run it's the uh it's like a gully there's always moguls in here so we'll see Ooh. oh this was kind of soft snow okay before we drop in, let's get to number two. Number two, for somebody who just got a GoPro, is put your camera in all sorts of unique and strange places. I think a GoPro is something that you don't really know what it's capable of until you try it and you, and you kind of open your mind to the possibilities of, of what it can do. So, whether that's taking photos or videos, you just take your camera and put it in places that you wouldn't normally take another camera. And then just see what the shot looks like, even if it's dumb. What I do sometimes when I'm driving is I'll put the, the camera behind the steering wheel, down by the shifter, and then that allows you to really see you know, I don't just have to use this camera like I use my cell phone or like a normal camera, so that's kind of fun. All right, that was a fun little run. And then tip number three for somebody who just got a GoPro is to take it as many places as you can with you. The more you use it, the more you're gonna learn what it's good at, what it's not good at. But you're never gonna get there if you're not bringing it with you, so just even if you don't think you're gonna use it, take it with you, take it out of your bag, you know, snap a shot here and there. And when you come home, I'm, I'm always stoked that I actually grabbed a shot versus not grabbing a shot. Uh, storage is cheap. Memories are very easy to make with this thing. So use it as much as you can. And uh, I think with those three tips, you are gonna be off to the races. All right. We got Zadia here. Don't mind my uh, dangling. dangling microphone. That's so we can get nice audio. Next question comes from Matt J. Wags. Have you ever been to Alaska? <laughs> Sounds like a quick answer, but I'm gonna give you my Alaska story on the way down. We're gonna go over to chair 23 right now. Okay, Alaska. <laughs> I have been to Alaska once. Fairbanks, and it was for a GoPro Hero 2 shoot. We were actually going there to shoot um, the Aurora Borealis. And we were linking up with a science crew and our aim was actually to shoot, try to get a shot of the Aurora Borealis from within the Aurora Borealis uh, via a weather balloon, <laughs> which is crazy. So we went up there and First we did some time lapses, just going out at night to see if we could even capture it, which we got a little bit of stuff. It was right when we were starting to play around with night laps. Wow, this is interesting. Interesting snow. 
the ice. <laughs> and then we did a uh, really cool day where we took a small, uh, we took a small plane to a glacier near Denali and land on the glacier. It's like the coolest thing. So crazy being that far out there. And then we launched a weather balloon from the glacier and did the classic GoPro from space shot. So we had a couple GoPros on the payload. Woo! There we go. Whoa! That was fun. And then uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Okay. Oh, ho, ho. Our regularly scheduled programming was interrupted because we ran into Chris Benchettler. All right, Chris, you're live with the Q&A. Okay, hello everyone. Good to see you. It's fun trying to follow Chris down the hill, but I'm, I'm definitely always scared when I try to go as Not fast as he does. More. I know, on yeah. Chris's skis. We're at the top 23. We're gonna drop into some fun stuff. It's a little windy right here. Whoa. Oh yeah. We got an easier drop in over here maybe. Okay, let's see, where are we going? Nice. So Alaska. Um, so it was my first time ever seeing the Aurora Borealis and it was so much more magical than you could ever picture in your mind. Like you can, you can just watch it and see it moving. There we go. So we uh, sent up the weather balloons during the day, got everything dialed, such beautiful shots. It was pretty insane. <laughs> And then, nice. And then went out at night, waited for some Aurora Borealis to show up and shot up a weather balloon with a couple Hero 2s on the payload and got some not that awesome shots, but it was more of an experiment. It was really cool and actually got some, some photos of the Aurora Borealis from pretty much within the Aurora Borealis. So that was Alaska. All right, we're following Chris. Every time I follow Chris, I feel like I get out of control because I try to go fast over crud. Woo! <laughs> I guess this is the real test of the Ben Chetlers is follow Chris through the crud on his skis. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo. You I'll see you later. Well, my so when you think of stock video, I don't normally think of things like this, or like this, or even like this. But all of that is available on Storyblocks. I've been using it constantly for my video stuff. Also sound effects so you can do little things like this. The best part is it's all royalty free, so you can use it for those YouTube videos and Instagram things or your client projects as well. I've been using Storyblocks for pretty much all of my videos. It's super easy to just hop on, grab whatever you need in the moment and continue on your projects. So check the link in the description below. There's a subscription model for everyone. And thank you to Storyblocks for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. All right, I'm gonna do what's called a lightning round where I'm gonna rapidly go through a bunch of your questions because I actually already have answers in the form of tutorials that are on my YouTube channel. So I don't want you to think that I'm neglecting your questions. So let's get to those and I'll pop up the video and a link to it so you guys can know what the answers are. Ross Lindbari, and this was a very common question, how do you upload video to Instagram with the best quality? Luckily, I already made a YouTube tutorial with all of the information that you guys need to know about getting the best quality out of your GoPro and onto Instagram with all of the settings, the export stuff for Premiere, and the link is here. And if it's not here, it's in the description below. The next question that was asked by Miles Morden and Nico Liverio, 
any advice when using GoPro Max skiing and the best way to mount Max on a helmet for skiing. So luckily I have a how to mount and film with GoPro Max for skiing specifically. And so here's the link for the video. And if it's not here, check it in the description below. Next up, we got Justin V. Clark. What's the best way to upload GoPro footage to YouTube? I have a tutorial that runs through all of the stuff that you need to know in Premiere for editing to organizing and then all of the export settings. So you guys can get all of those settings in that video. Ted Arific asks, how do you get clean keyframe transitions? So I have two different videos for this. One is for GoPro Max using Premiere and doing clean transitions through that with the keyframes. The other one is just regular GoPro footage using FX reframe and how to get all of those smooth transitions for reframing things like time lapses and whatnot. So that is there or in the link in the description below. All right, our last two questions for the lightning round just to get through these. We've got Sky Thomas Gidge, how to organize clips in a project to speed up editing. So that's actually that same Premiere tutorial where I go through organizing, editing, and exporting for a highlight video in Premiere. And last but not least, SC Palmer 10 asks, what camera settings and mounts are your favorite for skiing? So I have two videos for this one. The first is all of my favorite mounts for skiing, and that's this video specifically. And then the second one, there's two vlogs that I made last year from skiing. It's basically Hero 9 with skiing, and I put all of my settings in there throughout the entire video. They're two vlogs, about 10 minutes each. So go check those out. I have all the settings listed in there and that should get you dialed. All right, let's get back to the questions. See you soon. Next question is from Z Weezy Media. What is your favorite memory so far being a content creator at GoPro? That is a very good question and that's gonna be a hard one to answer. All right, we're switching up the angle a little bit. Still using this microphone but uh, I got an ND filter on here, so we'll get a little motion blur. We're gonna do some pow slashes. I just wanna start off by saying there's nothing to describe the incredible opportunity that I've had and how grateful I am to have had it. And there's, I mean, the memories of the amount of people that I've met and the friends that I've made kind of trump any experience that I've had. Um, and honestly, some of my favorite experiences are in the edit bay late at night where we're just jamming out some music and we'll, we feel like we're just really making breakthroughs and, and big strides and stuff on the edits. So I would say that's, that's probably number one, but uh, I've got number two and three that are probably a little more interesting to tell because they're kind of fun stories. So, all right, let's get, get over here and start shredding this thing. Number one, one of the funniest memories, <laughs> which is just something that's good to have. Oh, oh, my face is gonna get freezing. But uh, for the Hero 2 launch video, it really got down to the wire in terms of, uh, oh, in terms of editing. Oh my gosh. We were all staying there all night long, just cranking on this edit, including Nick Woodman, who uh, at 5 a.m. I remember was sleeping under my desk and he would wake up to tell me, I'm not kidding, Abraham. This video is going out at 6 a.m. because we got the press release going, you got to finish this thing. And I was just like, okay, I will do it. So, just the image of CEO of GoPro asleep under my desk is a pretty funny memory. But one of my favorite trips of all time, and just has such an incredible memory of, is when we were, we went down to South America to Chile to film for the Hero 3 Plus launch video. And we did two different trips out of it. One was urban downhill mountain biking in the city of Valparaiso and that's near Santiago on the coast. And then the second half was up in the Andes in the mountains, um, going heli skiing with John Jackson, Travis Rice, Chris Davenport, and Lindsey Dyer. And so the first half we did probably eight days down in Valparaiso mountain biking and we were scouting the coolest places and the city's so full of amazing artwork and graffiti and it's really colorful. 
And that was just such a fun shoot just because it was so different. And we were working with awesome bikers and just collaborating on like really cool shots, setting up zip lines and stuff. And then we went up to the Andes afterwards and we were in this little chalet up in the mountains. We had a hot tub out in the front where this guy would come at sunrise and uh, stoke the fire and start the fire that was underneath the hot tub to get it hot every morning and the helicopter would come land in the backyard. And it was the kind of trip where you're just looking around like, I can't believe that this is real life. <laughs> and, um, but the crazy thing was it hadn't snowed in a really long time down there. And that was just kind of the luck of the draw. You can't really plan a shoot that big around the snow conditions. So we we're just kind of crossing our fingers and going at the best time of the year, but it hadn't snowed in weeks. And so we went out skiing the first day and we got some amazing shots but it was kind of like you know we had travis rice john jackson chris davenport lindsey dyer you want good snow conditions for them to really do what they do and get launch quality material so we come back the next day that night we went out to the bars this tiny little bar in the town that we were in up in the mountains and we ended up kind of taking over the bar and travis rice led this crazy chant circle snow dance where i come from uh we have a chant to make it snow it does not work if you do not put in your effort and heart like another situation where you're looking around and like is this really happening like we're at this Chilean bar with all these locals. Travis Rice is shouting and stomping. Caleb is on the DJ, plugs in his iPod and like starts th this music drop right at the right moment, like right when the chant finishes. Travis was like, play this song on the drop. Just having the best time ever. We walk outside of the bar, no joke. As we walk out, it's snowing. Oh, it's snowing! The snow dance works! It's and it had not snowed in weeks, and it snowed straight for two days, and we were completely snowed in. We just like were waiting out the storm, and then went out heli skiing after that two days, and it was like chest deep blower pow. So that trip specifically is just such an amazing memory of mine. Um, I was with my best friend Caleb, who was on the filmer. So we had an awesome crew, amazing skiers. We got some really cool shots of like Lindsay Dyer with the spinny head cam going down. And it was such a successful trip. And when we made the videos, Let Me Take You to the Mountain, which is one of my favorite videos that uh, myself and Kyle Kammerer edited. And then we also made Combing the Hills of Valparaiso. Both videos, you should go watch, check them out because that was such a fun trip. Thanks everyone. From Mammoth Mountain, I'm Abe Kislevitz. This is Zadia LaRouche. Thank you so much for joining me on this q and I hope you guys enjoyed, learn a little bit, and I will see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and go follow me on Instagram, Abe Kislevitz. I'll see you there. Take it easy.